Hey everybody, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about um, YouTube and the YouTube mobile app. Um, the YouTube mobile app, uh, which is what I'm going to talk about first, uh, is probably one of the most like weird apps I've had to deal with design-wise. Um, the YouTube mobile app is probably also one of the worst and most inconsistent because it just changed stuff too much. Uh, it's just like the simple fact that they change stuff too much. Um, like just right now, um, I went over to look at my phone and they changed the um, placement of like the create a video button to right at the bottom of the screen where the notifications were. Um, honestly, that's really inconvenient. That's really just a bad design choice. Um, you know, it's just not good. Um, they put the notifications where, like, the create a video, like, bar thingy was. Um, I don't know why they did this, why they thought it was a good idea, but, I mean, it sucked. Uh, in all honesty. Uh, now, that's not to say that, you know, YouTube hasn't done a good job um, here recently. Uh, I really like that they're doing more stuff for the creators. I like that they add, added this, like, in site like video editor. That way, if you get, like, a copyright claim or something to that nature, you can easily fix it. I think that's an amazing idea. I think that's a great idea. Um, I mean, hell, you're beating Twitch uh, at that. And they're literally a live streaming platform where, you know, you would think that sort of thing would be commonplace, but it's not. And that's what's funny to me is that it just isn't. And... I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's even the fact that they have, like, a music library, too. Like, I think that's amazing. They, you know, you don't have to go out searching for, like, these royalty-free songs. You can just, like, you know, plug and play. Um, if you find something you like, good, good. I'll... I think that's cool. Um, I mean, I know for a lot of people that's kind of not the case, but I mean, you know, it's there. I think it's potentially useful if you want to just like tiptoe around like copyright stuff. But I mean, it's good to be there. Um, yeah, and I know despite all the um, demonetization stuff, and all that. I mean, YouTube does have its flaws. I mean, it does have its negatives, like Twitch, like basically any other platform. That's BitChute, that's DLive, um, that's Vimeo, uh, you know, all the rest of those. And honestly, I think YouTube if you weigh the pros and cons, the negatives and the positives. I think overall it's probably one of the best like social media sites, best streaming sites out there in the world today. Now, that's not to say that you know like a Twitter or even like Facebook video or something like that could overtake YouTube in my opinion as being like one of the great greatest streaming platforms and that's video streaming and like live streaming uh, just to clarify um, I think those two I think that we could see somebody overtake YouTube and I mean I don't know if YouTube keeps improving like they are I think they'll keep staving it off for a pretty long time uh, and honestly in some ways I think that's good in some ways I think that's bad I mean the lack of competition you know people kind of have their issues with that but you know at the end of the day uh, it is what it is well um 
thank you guys for watching uh, this video. Uh, if you liked it, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I also have a Twitter. Um, I'll be linking that down below. Um, you know, check that out. I do tweet occasionally. Some of it's political stuff. Uh, if you're not into that, I mean, by all means, just like don't follow, I guess. But, uh, you know, that's it, and see you guys in the next video.